Hi, this is Dave Wolber from USF and AppInventor.org. I'm going to show you how to build a quiz app. This is going to be a quiz of U.S. presidents, okay? And we're going to do it with App Inventor 2. So you're going to start off at ai2.appinventor.mit.edu. And we're actually going to um, kind of download and then upload a starter app. So I got another tab open, and I'm going to AppInventor.org slash starter apps, and I'm going to download this .ai file. This is just a source code file. It's an app inventor project, but there's really nothing in it except media files. So we're really going to start from scratch, except you won't have to upload the pictures we're going to use for, for the quiz. So back at App Inventor, I just downloaded something called, I want to do project import, and I want to choose a file, and the, and the file's called um, presidentsquizstarter.aia. So I'll open that, say OK, and then my project will load. Okay, and like I said, you could have started completely from scratch and got, gotten the pictures uh, yourself or use your own pictures for your own quiz, right? But this guy has them in them. So the user interface is completely empty and there's no blocks for this app, uh, no code, okay? But um, there is some image files down here that we're going we're gonna to make use of. All right, so let's, let's start building the user interface for the app. I'm going to drag out, uh, well, first thing I'm going to do is set the screen to center, okay, because I want everything to kind of be centered when I drag it out. And I'm grab an image component. This is where we'll, where we'll put the pictures for each question, and then I'll grab a label component, and that'll go just kind of right below. So this is going to be for our questions, and this is going to be for the pictures for our questions. And I'm just going to rename these components. I'm going to call this guy question image, and it's real important to give kind of descriptive names to your components because when you get to the coding part you're going to need to refer to them and you need to be able to distinguish. I'll rename this guy the question label. Okay, and just to make it look kind of what it's going to look like, I'll grab an image. So I chose the image and I'm going to choose its picture property and I'm going to choose um, a picture of Roosevelt and Churchill. So that's going to come in. It's going to take almost most of our screen, but actually on, on a real phone it'll, it'll leave some room at the bottom. So then down here we're going to have a question. Right now, I'm just going to put in question one, but these are actually going to be the real questions. But, you know, one thing you have to understand is this app is going to, only going to have one screen. You're not going to have three screens for three different questions, but we're going to change the picture and change the question kind of programmatically in our code. Okay, so one screen, but the information will change as, we, as the user kind of walks through the, through the quiz. Next thing I'm going to do is add a next button. So I'm going to grab a button and try to bring it right below the question. We'll scroll down here so we can see it. And this is going to be, you know, the user is going to click on this to get to the next question. So I'm going to type in next as the text property for it. And like with the other components, I'll rename it so we can get to it in the blocks editor. All right, so here's a real simple quiz for us. It's going to get better. We're going to allow the user to answer and stuff. But right now, this is what it's going to look like. And let's go ahead and code this next button. That's what we're going to do. But before we get to the code, let's see if this shows up correctly on our phone. So I've got my phone projecting onto the screen. You can see it there. And what I've got running is the App Inventor 2 Companion. So this is what you need to install on your Android phone. You don't need to install anything on your computer, typically. But on your phone, you've got to get this companion. It's like your testing app, OK? And as you're building your app, you can test as you as you go. Okay, I'm gonna. You, you can go to the Google Play Store to download that. Okay, find it, download it. MIT App Inventor 2 Companion. Once you have it, then every time you just tap scan QR code. Okay, and then on App Inventor, go to Connect and AI Companion, and scan that QR code. Okay, I just put my phone right above that QR code to scan it, and in a couple seconds the app will show up. And you can kind of see what it's looking like on the actual phone. You know, notice it's a little different than the designer, right? This is the real thing. This is what you're going to, what you're going to get. So we're going to make, fix this up to make it look better in a while, but at least we know we've got something kind of working. I want to do one last thing. The screen, I like to set its title to, uh, I don't know, U.S. Presidents. And notice, as soon as I make that change in the designer, my phone updates and it shows it, shows it to me. So, it's immediate testing, and it's really, really cool thing.